And thanks for sticking with us here at 10. I'm Jarvis Robertson. And I'm Gladys Bautista. We begin tonight with how local women are commemorating the start of a week aimed at honoring victims of crime. As WVTM 13's Chip Scarborough reports tonight, for moms who have lost children to gun violence, it's a time to help others who have experienced a similar tragedy. CJ Calhoun was killed in a gas station shooting on December 31st, 2018. He was just a few months away from graduating from minor high school. Shootings like the one in Dadeville last weekend only serve as a reminder for his mother of what happened to her own son. I was devastated. Um, anytime that there's a tragedy of gun violence, especially when young people are involved, it is just devastating. It not only affects the immediate family, but it affects the whole entire community. To mark the beginning of National Crime Victims Rights Week, the Alabama chapter of Voices of Black Mothers United hosted an event at Greater Shiloh Missionary Baptist Church in Birmingham on Sunday, a chance for families who have lost loved ones to gun violence to learn how to go about trying to lead a more normal life after such a tragedy. Oftentimes we're not hurt. Oftentimes people do not know of our trauma um, and the aftermath of the trauma. At the same time, mothers who have lost children to gun violence themselves say they want others to know there can be hope. Even though it's hard and it's painful, you still can go on, you still can live, you still can try to lead some type of normal life. It won't be like it was, but you can go on. These mothers say their work now allows them to honor the memories of their children no longer with them. Crystal would have wanted me to live. She would have wanted me to voice and do what I do to make a difference. And her life is not in vain. All while hoping there can one day be an end to gun violence. In Birmingham, Chip Scarborough, WVTM 13.